Um, who is the most influential pe person that you have met in this industry? Wow, in space? Yeah. Um, so it's a small community. Uh, I think the, the, the people that are more interesting to meet are the astronauts. Cause, and I met few. Yeah. I actually got a talk with one of them tonight. Is uh, um, Oh, you've got a conference tonight. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So exactly. said, she's got to be gone on yeah, time. Yeah, because so, yeah, we no, had okay, a panel with <laughs> Andy Thomas, that yeah. is a uh, great astronaut. I met some of them uh, in the US, but you know, not for the reason that you think. You will think, ah, oh, you know, the most inspiring person you met is an astronaut because, but they are the most humble humans you have ever met. It's yeah. weird. You speak with them. Uh, there was one of the uh, American female. We were in a talk together in Melbourne. We went and drink some wine after. She was like, I don't understand why people want to talk to me. And I'm like, because you went to space like 10 times <laughs> and that's cool. Yeah. And she was like, I'm just a pilot. She, she's an Air Force pilot. Just a pilot that just drove the thing. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, but outer space? Yeah. She also had the problem with heights, you know, when you're scared of heights. Oh, uh, like super vertigo? Scared. Yeah, vertigo. And yeah. I'm like, you have vertigo? <laughs> and she's like, oh, yeah, it's been a struggle. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah you've been in a space mission for months. And yeah. then, and she's like, oh, I wish people would treat me like a normal person, not like an astronaut. I don't understand what everyone loves me. And I'm, and I'm like, so they are just humbles. I don't know if it's crossed by the effect of what they see what are out there. You know, they, they talk about so what they Earth say? from the top and yeah. just. So it's not flat. It's not. It's not flat. It's, on, it's not flat. Oh it my God. Like Earth is not flat. I don't know. That's what they say. But when it's like moon, and uh, we have a land <sighs> in the moon, is the word of flat. Uh, I. So, so she is? She's amazing. Okay, so we talk about what they see. Like, uh, uh, there's a very big uh, universe out there. And we can't... Do you believe we're the only no. beings on this planet? No, 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 no. no. On this planet, maybe. No. I don't even know because I, on this planet I've got some doubts because uh, it's a big unknown under oceans that we okay. don't know yet, you know. So maybe weird things will come out of the oceans. But <laughs> out there, sure, there's someone else. So have you seen anything yourself? No, but it's a big topic for me. I love it. I'm uh, always with the nose <laughs> around looking for it, you know. Uh, <laughs> I, you yeah, I believe in ghosts and all sort I'm of things, you. you know. So I believe in all this weird stuff, uh, you know. So I'm always with an eye open. So with your talk about things like that, um, like that's, do, do you, have you heard of Bob Lazar? Uh, have you heard of, like, what he his work? And, and you know, obviously he's basically saying, yeah, that it's definitely there. Yeah, um, yeah I just want to... Fucking, I want to see something. I know, me too. Like, this is why I started this. So I was obsessed with uh, <laughs> Area 51 when yeah. I was a younger. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm pretty sure that someone saw something. You know, I, I've got this obsession that someone on earth saw something. I see a lot of videos. You know those videos? Yeah, like you I know. Me, I love it. Well, the, and I think I, I've had a, a situation when I, I was, I, I reckon I must have been eight or nine. I was in Corny Point, York Peninsula. I distinctly remember I was on the balcony and it was dark and yeah, it's nothing out there, right? Let's face it. I don't know if you've been there, but in South Australia, it's, it's literally dark, freaking yeah. remote. And I was sitting there and we were sitting at the table and I was there with my cousin and the, uh, her mum and dad. And I have no doubt what I saw wasn't something that I could explain. It was a fast light in, sit there for a while. And then was like went literally like in a straight line back, back, uh, back, and then back forward. No noise, no sound. It was dead silent, but it was fast. Like it wasn't uh, like it, it, someone said, "Oh, it could have been a helicopter." I, you know, now I know it. What? There's no way. I, I just look at that and I think, I wish I had my fucking phone. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's to take a photo. Like <laughs> zoom in. Like fuck. And 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 I look now all the time. I'm always looking in the air because you know I. I, I, the, the way the university is in yet, I don't know if you've seen that footage where someone has like, they've got the consonants or is that what it's called? Like, well, there's a heap of stuff together. Then it keeps on coming back, 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 all the way. Yeah, yeah, it gets yeah, to, yeah, yeah. And, and you look at that and you think, we can't be alone here. And no, that's what can't. makes things so exciting. And I, I, I think it also makes it scary as well. But to, to an uh, example, if, if there has been lots of knowledge of this and the public's kept... Um, not with the right information. I, I think that's a sort of a, it's, that's another paradigm. But on the other it hand, why do we want to know if there are other people? 
you know, why do we want to go? Why do we want to know? Why? So what it fascinated, uh, fascinates me about human in general is that we just want to know. Like, you know, we are amazing. You know, I read an amazing book uh, uh, in the past month that says that in the past, you know, thousand years, the, the human race was very focused on treating big diseases, wars, and all the big things, you know. And now we're kind of nailing that in yeah. a sense. You know, there are still wars, there is still poverty, there is still diseases, but we're getting good at that. So the next big things we need to keep moving. You know, humans cannot stop. They have to keep creating, they have to keep moving, they have to keep bringing everything in the journey. So yeah, this is the time we're gonna go back out there. So they, br they bring people back that could be aliens, Elon Musk, <laughs> uh, that, that they don't think like anyone else. There are, there are, I mean, like Elon Musk and other people. I, I honestly think every entrepreneur, founders, and, uh, you know, <laughs> it's a little bit of a weird <laughs> personality. It's, it's, it's amazing humans. Like every century has got four or five humans like this yeah. that allow the entire generation, the entire human species to grow. I think it's awesome. It's, it's, I put it to the same, like I used to wakeboard, not, not that good, but compete, but not, not very good at all. But back in the day, you used to do a flip and then land it. And now the kids are doing like, then, then you saw double flip progress. And then you saw double flip of with course. twist. And it's one of those things when someone pushes that boundary, it's about every boundary that ever gets pushed. And there's no doubt space. Definitely it's like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Space pushes boundaries. So there's no doubt that that's going to be the continued thing. So you're a believer. Good. I'm, I'm not, a believer. I'm not by myself. I, I'm a believer.